and uh, they're also genetic engineers. They would just colonize, they would take samples, they would hang a flag and say, this belongs to us, just like we did with the moon, you know, but so we, we weren't the first ones there. Um, they, they, exactly what, what, what we've done, they were explorers. And they would just go to a place, they would see what was there, they would explore it, if there were minerals that they needed, if there were other life forms, organisms, whatever it was that they needed, they took, and then when it was done, they had enough, they moved on, and just kept exploring and expanding their, their realm of, of exploration or territory. And you said they were dumped here. Originally, uh, right. originally they were. Right. They were dumped in Alfred Draconis. Nobody knows exactly where they came from, and my understanding is that even in their ancient history, they don't know exactly where they came from. Um, but they, they were left in Alpha Draconis because that particular system offered them the highest probability of survival. And from there, they were able to create craft, space travel. I mean, they're magnificent in what they did, and they're to be commended for what they did. But the fact that they need to control and dominate and manipulate to the degree, sorry, I have a problem with that. And so does half, half of the other, of, of the galaxy. Um, that's just the way they are. They're the biggest bully. Nobody can beat them up or wipe them out, so therefore they have no motivation to change. So that's the space they hold. And, you know, the Andromedans actually consider them the ultimate warriors, which says a lot, you know, uh, for whatever reasons. A lot of uh, bullies end up destroying themselves. Well, that's, um, that's something that r may possibly need to happen, we hope soon, or I hope soon. You know, because we need to be free. We need we need to have our shackles that we've been, been put put around us let go of, so that we can really evolve. And you know, we have awesome potential. We really do. Uh, we have been, as a race, we have been through so much here. We have so much experiences. You know, and because of our emotions, which is really our strength, which really sets us apart from all the other races out there, even the other human races. You know, we have tremendous capabilities to, to create things. And, um, you know, but, but we, we need to get clear of what's real and what isn't. You know, we also need to get really clear about being able to create our own future, to create our own reality, and not have somebody say, well, that doesn't work for me, so you're going to have to do this. You know, uh, play God and ruler over us. You the know, sense of responsibility right. is so important it, in all of this. It's... it's with any sense of power, with, with any knowledge, comes responsibility. That's exactly right. And the divine plan is one of freedom. Free expression. Free expression, free expression, free expression. It is not one where they want to implant us and they say, you are going to be a worker, you're going to be this, you're going to be that. Sorry, that's not what it's all about. And if anybody tries to force that stuff down your throat, fight it. Okay, so the Andromedans tell you that the Alpha Draconians are here now. Where? There are 1,833 of them that have been living underground between 100 and 200 miles beneath the surface. They've been here, some of them have been here a long, long time. They have lifespans that are thousands of years. Uh, uh, they're carnivorous. They are not friendly to mankind, um, at least the ones that are here. Are you saying carnivorous, they eat humans? Yes. And they need to be, they won't eat a dead human. It has to be alive at the time of the killing. Their preference is children. You know, and, and we've been told, we've been told, you shouldn't talk about that. You know, there are, uh, other people say, well, you better not talk about the reptilians. Well, you know, uh, bull. You know, uh, why not? According to the Andromedans, they're responsible for 31,712 children disappearing in the last 25 years from the United States. These children were food. And I'm supposed to just shut up and not say anything about it because people don't want to hear it? That's tough. That's tough. You know, Westchester County, in the last five years, 3,000 children in Westchester County, New York, have vanished without a trace. Where are they going? Why are we allowing this to happen? How and why they, should people stay in denial about now it? Now, how are they able to do this? How are, they able hmm. to, how, are they able to, how are they able to do it? How are they able to come up out of this from underground and do it, or do they have... There are Asian tunneling support? systems everywhere. They're being helped by the greys, and also there are groups within the higher echelon that are actually helping them 
acquire this. So human beings are abducting the kids and giving them to the grace who in turn give them to the alpha drug commons? That's right. That's part of the deal. They won't come up as long as we feed them down there. You understand? It's about...